Hello, welcome to the GTV South Sudan Global. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe as we will continue to bring you informative videos. The events unfolding in South Sudan are disheartening. Our banditry economy cannot sustain the lives of our people. South Sudan's Ministry of Finance, Central Bank, Nile Fed, and National Revenue Authority, NRA, among others, are run by a gang of con men handpicked by the biggest con man of all time, President Salva Kiir. No matter who becomes Minister of Finance and Planning, the real shot caller is President Kiir. However, Honorable Barnaba Bak made himself in the mud more than previous ministers of finance and planning. In this video, we have analyzed two ways Honorable Barnaba Bak destroyed his political career. Here are they. Number one, unfulfilled press release on civil servants' salaries. Late last year, Honorable Barnaba Bak issued a press release promising to pay civil servants and disciplined forces salaries of five months going back to July 2023. The public fell for it. Until now, none of the civil servants and disciplined forces got their salaries. This proves our point, and that is, Honorable Barnaba Bak is a con artist. The Honorable Minister of Finance is just giving South Sudanese lip service. Honorable Barnaba Bak knows English more than economics. South Sudan's economic backwater is man made. The main culprit is President Kiir, who has run the Nile Fed, Central Bank, and NRA as his pierdom. South Sudan has zero level of production of goods and services. We import everything from neighboring countries. Our main export is crude oil, which President Kiir has already pre-sold to foreign companies. Our central bank has no foreign currency reserves. All the foreign currency reserves have been channeled to the black market. Our South Sudanese pound has depreciated, owing to severe IFA inflation. The corruption, runaway insecurity, and misrule caused the evaporation of our economy. Leaders like Honorable Banaba Bak do not want to tell the public that they have no know-how to solve these problems. If indeed they are interested in solving these matters, then the National Assembly must take control of the oversight of the Nile Fed, Central Bank, and NRA, among others. The leaders who run these institutions must be accountable to the National Assembly and not our corrupt Commander-in-Chief, President Kiir. Number two, derogatory description of wounded veterans as self-proclaimed wounded heroes and heroines. Honorable Barnaba Bak committed a cardinal sin in describing our wounded heroes and heroines as self-proclaimed wounded heroes and heroines. The wounded veterans lost their limbs and sanity during the war of liberation. If we had a non-mafia-like government, the wounded veterans would have been taken care of properly. Sadly, we are political vampires and parasites running our institutions of government. Honorable Barnaba Bak owes a public apology not only to wounded veterans but also South Sudanese at large. Honorable Barnaba Bak's incendiary remarks incensed South Sudanese to the core. Honorable Barnaba Bak must also resign and join the public in demanding the change of government. South Sudan is too precious to be left to the most foolish president in the world, President Kiir. A new government will stand up against corruption, promote rule of law, and strengthen our institutions. If Honorable Barnaba Bak fails to do the aforementioned actions, he should prefer to kiss his political career goodbye. He is already a political liability, and in the coming days, his boss, President Kiir, will dumb him for a new useful idiot. All things considered, these are some of the ways Honorable Barnaba Bak destroyed his political career. There are others as well. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe to the GTV South Sudan Global.